Hey, what's up, guys? I have no computer yet. I'm breaking on an update all night. It says 100% complete. Do not turn off your computer. So we will see what that really means. The whole buster down here. Ah, what a beast. What an absolute beast. Stay. Got a new camera, phone. I don't know how that's recording because my computer's not up yet. Hopefully it's recording well. I have it turned around the opposite way. We've got Hulk here. Also, let's get his other torso over here. Hope y'all are doing well. Sorry, I can't see any chat right now. Hope the camera's working well. And a mirror over there so I can see into it. Alright. So, Age of Ultron Hulk. The Deluxe came with two busts.
All right. So this came in the mail yesterday. And of course, it's always nice when UPS delivers something, you get a nice little customization on it there. You can see here that the box has been taken care of with great love and respect. Looks like it's been stepped on here, scooted obviously along the floor, several areas. Thank God that um, they package it well on the inside because otherwise we would be in trouble, right? So I bought my Hulkbuster originally when it came out. I pre-ordered it the day that it was available to be pre-ordered. Where's my knife? Then, two years later, or three years later, whatever, finally arrived. I made many changes in between the time they first announced it and went up for pre-order and the time it actually made for delivery. Um, one of the things that they showed us, though, was this jackhammer arm. And so I was hoping that, after it's all said and done, we would get this jackhammer arm with the release of the Hulkbuster, and it didn't work out that way. Then, like two years later, we offered the Hulkbuster for sale again as a deluxe version, exact same Hulkbuster, only with the jackhammer arm accessory. And then for those of us that already bought the Hulkbuster, you can order the jackhammer arm. So, I struggled back and forth, whether or not to buy another Hulkbuster all together, or just get the, the arm. And I just couldn't see the expense of another $1,300, or whatever for another Hulkbuster, but I wanted the arm. And at the time, they said zero about how this arm would go on there. Because they didn't ship this with a removable arm. For instance, a lot of the Iron Man figures, the arms will just pop clean out easily. And um, it's an almost, you can almost say it's a feature of some of the Iron Man, that the arm can pop out so easily. This one, there's no easy pop out that I've seen on it anywhere. Um, I'm hoping there's instructions that come with this that teach me how to open it. I brought my little toolboxes with me. Screwdrivers, pliers, hammer. Just in case it's needed. I have no idea what I'm going to need. I have no idea if they're even going to give me instructions at all. I knocked my little Spidey off the shelf there. I'm trying to get him picked up. By the way, we had a... Uh, there was an earthquake 300 kilometers away from here in Nevada. Uh, night for last. 4 o'clock in the morning my time. And I felt little tremors here. A uh, little bit of shaking here in the house. 300 kilometers. It was a 6.2 or 6.4 magnitude, which is big. It was a big earthquake. All right, the computer's coming up. Let's see if we can log into it now. Nope. It's not ready for me to enter my password. But. I haven't found any figures that have fallen over. It's funny, I was up four o'clock in the morning. I am sitting in my chair getting this, just a slight little rock. That's all it was. It wasn't like a major earthquake. 
It wasn't like being in an epicenter for an earthquake. It's just a real minor little gentle swaying. Like if you're on a boat or in a swing. And, uh, what the hell is that? Mm. Power went out. Evidently it swayed enough to cause a transformer to blow. The power came back on. But, I'm happy none of my figures fell over. So, on the people that are getting the Hulkbuster, I'm assuming this is like attached to the side of it or something. A bigger box. So this is what we're getting now. This little accessory box. Hulkbuster box was kind of weird in the first place. It was mostly just this styrofoam. Let's try this password. See if we can get into YouTube here. So I can check in with your with you guys. Should be. There we go. So yeah, I was kind of disappointed when the Hulkbus first came out. It didn't have this. They showed it as they sent this thing all over the world, the Hulkbuster, putting it on display everywhere. They showed it with the Hulk, with this jackhammer arm. But it never made it to final production. By the way, there's a, uh, a new Captain Marvel made by third party company with rooted hair, if that's what you want. And she comes with a, a flurkin with the tentacles coming out of the of the flurkin's mouth. And it uh, comes with a, uh, the pager. I think the pager's a little bit large uh, in comparison to what it should be. Uh, Cause pager's actually, the one that he, she, she was using was only about yay big. So it shouldn't have been larger than her hand easily, the palm of her hand, truthfully. And it appears to be a little larger. They also sell the Flurkin separately and they sell that pager separately. <clears throat> of course, Claw came out uh, or was announced a couple weeks ago. And uh, a Bucky Barnes was announced a couple weeks ago from the first Captain America. He's part of the group of men that uh, Cap saves. All right, so evidently we have the arm, and then we have the arm. This was the one he latched onto his fist. So I'm assuming this can then be interchanged. Let's look at the instructions. We we'll also have a little bitty Veronica here in comparison to um, another company's that I purchased right here. It's really small. <clears throat> and of course, this is nowhere close to one six scale. So this was third party manufacturer's Veronica. This is the Hot Toys included with Hulkbuster Veronica. And that's pretty much what you get to see in the sky way over there. So I guess that's what their intention is, to do that. Um, in my opinion, if this were 1-6 scale, this portion here, right here, would be pretty much the size of the Hulkbuster. So that tells you how big this should be. Veronica should be about 5 feet tall. Five feet square, easily. You should be able to tuck away a Hulkbuster inside one of these. That's what I believe. My interpretation of looking at what Veronica would look like 
considering pieces were flying out of here. We never got to see everything that she's packing around. There may be a, you know, a right arm in there, different legs. Who knows, truthfully. You know, let's get back to the instructions. Let's open up this video. See if any of y'all are even with me this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How's it going, Toy Mafia? Save on Mason. How you doing? I am well, thank you. My wife is well. Thank you. She is in good spirits. Third party company that's making Thanos has a throne from his ship. Really? It looks good, but the only place that has it up for pre order is Toy Wonderland. The one six scale? Uh and it costs so much to ship as an item itself is about a hundred bucks. Yeah, uh, it's like whenever I order from Sideshow Collectibles, um, California charges 8% sales tax. In addition to shipping, shipping from Sideshow is extremely expensive. Uh, at least $20. So when you have a $300 figure, that's $24 in shipping handling, or I mean in tax, and then another $24 in shipping, you end up paying 50 bucks in addition to the price of the figure. So your $300 figure becomes a $350 figure. Then if you decide you ever want to sell that figure, eBay takes all of their fees. And so in order to be able to sell a $300 figure and to just break even because you've paid $350 for it by the time it came home to you, by the time it came to your home, in order to sell it on eBay to make it $350 back out of it, you got to sell it for well over $400 bucks because they're going to take, I think it's I think it's after it's all said and done, it ends up being between 16 and 20% is what eBay takes and PayPal and all that. So let's just say on the, on the conservative side, let's just say 15%. So $400 would be 10% of 400 is 40 and a 5% of 400 is 20. So that would give you 340 bucks. So even that 15% cost of, of uh, the percentages that eBay and PayPal and, and the tax and all that that is assessed to all of that you had to sell it for $400 in order to make back the $350 that you paid for it in the first place. So, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane. And then you have certain collectors that are out there and like, don't you dare sell it for more than what it would cost you or what, it, what they were selling it for brand new. So you want me to sell it for $300. I've got $400 into it at this point. And you want me to sell it for $300. And the reason you're buying it is because you want it and you can't get it brand new from the manufacturer anymore. Go figure. Short and sweet are the instructions, right? Show them to you here. In case you ever need to reference this, or in case you're curious yourself, what the instructions actually say. I hope this helps you. Let me look at it real quick. Sort of armors attached to body can be attached as shown. Funny only comes with two fingers and a thumb, three fingers and a thumb here. I'm sure it's movie accurate though. I never paid attention to that. So let's get to this. Okay, so showing this piece comes off here. There it is. Of course, this piece came off.
Push the shoulder arm attached to the arm towards the indicated direction. Okay. They included a screwdriver, but I bought brought mine. It's not a screwdriver, it's a display stand for the Veronica. So let's get the screwdriver ready. Some little arm, probably the Hulkbuster arm piece. So Remove the indicated screw with long screwdriver. It's recommended to use a screwdriver that is at least 10.5 centimeters long. So that's what, uh, 33 centimeters is a foot. So that would be 11 centimeters is 4 inches. So 4 inches long shaft. Remove the left arm with functional accessory. Place the functional accessory to the indicated part of the shoulder in the area as direction and direction as shown. This is the functional accessory. Where's the screw? Where the hell's a screw? You're pointing to this. Okay, so we have this gray area. Where this gray area, they show a gray area right there. They show a screw there. What the hell? I don't see a screw. This is making me insane. Supposed to be right where this is in here, supposed to be a screw. This is insane.
This is insane. Have I expressed that yet? Because it is. Let's show you what I got going on. So according to these instructions, all right, here's the area where the screw's supposed to be. That's the silver, that's the little black. Here's the silver, here's the little black. Right in here, there's supposed to be a screw. I'll point with the Veronica base. Supposedly, according to the instructions, there's supposed to be a screw in here. Down in here, there's supposed to be a screw. That's what I'm looking for. In case you're curious what the hell I'm doing, I'm looking for a screw that doesn't appear to exist. This is fucking insane. Oh, pardon my French. By the way, this is that channel is not for children. Dude, for real, there is no effing screw here. Kid you not. There's no screw. Okay, I see a screw. It's not where they point to. Okay, so in the instruction manual, I'll point this out to you. So, in the instruction manual, gosh, I don't know if you can see this or not. They point to this second ridge here, right? The screw's not there. The screw's actually above that, closer to this little area here. So they're pointing down here. The screw's up here. I'll show you. You guys probably already know this you're probably way ahead of me probably laughing your asses off so the little pictures are pointing to this area here okay screws in that hole right there not down in here not here where it points to but right there is the screw about that I just dropped y'all sheesh
What an ordeal. This point to where the screw really isn't, but generally where it should be, approximately, maybe. My Veronica back on here. Oh, come on. I have a thin screw that I can use here. Did the camera zoom in? Sure did. That's the beautiful thing about live technical difficulties. By the way, I've been watching YouTube videos of different uh, YouTube content creators are asking for money because it's so expensive to make YouTube videos. I've done the average rate uh, to produce a quality YouTube video is $10,000. $10,000 is the average rate, evidently, to make a quality YouTube video. So us content creators like myself and some of the other figure collectors out there that are not only spending hundreds of dollars on figures. Mind you, we're competing against people who are getting paid $10,000 to make a video for content. You know, I've got the same software, same cameras available to me, 4K cameras, Photoshop software, Premiere Pro software, computers, time, effort, planning to do all that and that's why i just now do live video because i spend hours sometimes 40 hours a week making content and then youtube give me 45 cents for it and there's companies out there that are making youtube videos ten thousand dollars ten thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars a week for five videos a week two million dollars a year is what they claim it takes to provide quality content so you all that want to complain that my content isn't quality enough or that I make enough money that I should be just you know giving away figures trust me that's none of the that's not the case I'm spending all my hard-earned money on this and then all the everything else you know I don't get paid I don't get paid for this so if I had ten thousand dollars per video yeah, you would get super quality content. I guarantee you that. So when I ask for a Patreon membership of you, it's not that make me rich. Let me see if the screw has to come all the way out. Remove the indicated screw with long screw or I recommend you screw at least 10.5 centimeters shaft. It's a Phillips head screwdriver, which is the cross head instead of flat head screwdriver. Place functional accessory to the indicated part of the shoulder in the area direct add in direction as shown. So this piece is to remove the, the Hulkbuster arm, by the way, it appears. So this screw has to come out all the way. If 
fun disassembling my Hulk Buster. I wonder if uh, the same process is required on the people who've bought the Deluxe. I think it probably is. I doubt seriously they changed the Hulkbuster on everybody that bought a Deluxe figure. What a beast this guy is. Are, the screw is making me tired because I have no force to push back on really you know what I mean let me try laying him down I've never laid him on his back I don't remember ever laying him on his back Smokes. How long is this freaking screw? Ah. The head is now flush with the piece, it's still coming out. And it was it was recessed in quite a ways down there. And it's still in there. Screw hell, this thing's a freaking there we go. You see that? See how long that is? Okay. So now this goes in the black area of the shoulder itself. So you have the, the mechanical area and the black area. This goes in the black area. This is on the mechanical area. This little silver area, then the black area, then where the screw was. So this goes where that screw was below it. Put him back on his back again. Performing surgery. I just ripped my instructions.
here is it this is supposed to be pushing that down it looks like it's supposed to go in of course the instructions that are ripped are that part looks like it goes right where that screw came out right below it into that little notch there no it goes yeah right there why is it not going in there y'all probably having a blast with this y'all are like this guy's so fucking stupid. Remove the left arm with the functional accessory. What functionality is it? It doesn't seem to go into anywhere. where it looks like it presses into there like as if it's supposed to release something. <sighs> Dude, this is insane. There's that word again, describing this Hulkbuster accessory arm. Insane. is so where the arm goes in is like a little clip and this is supposed to press that down but there's a piece of the Hulkbuster that's literally right in the way of that so you can't get like a good solid press son of a bitch So they want you to press into it with this piece of plastic over it. So let me show you. All right, so let's get the light over here. You see that little notch right there? So there's the screw hole right there. And then you have this little notch right there. Where that notch is, can you see that little tab? Is that little tab, which is the uh, the arm is pressed into. Now you're supposed to take this piece, put it in there and push. Problem is, see this silver piece right here? When you put this in here, okay, in order to put any pressure on it, you have that silver piece right over it. So, to get your, you have to shove your finger up inside there and try to push on that to release that instead of being able to push straight down with this being in the way. So as you press this to press that tab in to take that arm out, you can't get any straight on force.
That was the black screw and one of the little pieces here that fell off with that. Sheesh. This is the little tab that you had to push out to be able to get that arm out of there. Oh my god. Push the functional arm accessory. Push the functional accessory. Bend the arm backward first, then bend forward to detach the full arm from the figure. You see how easy that was. Attach the arm to the Hulkbuster horizontally in the angle and direction shown. Screw back tightly to assure arm position. Finished product. Caution. Proceed with caution when interchanging the arms. Do not excessively bend the arm inward or outward, otherwise the accessory will be damaged. Please handle the heavy weighted figure and accessory with care. The indicator armors can be removed as shown. Before we put the arm on, let's play with this. Um, because I'm putting this arm on, I believe, I don't know, because I think I want to do the punch, right? So this can be made into a fist pretty easily. And you can see how much articulation is in those fingers. Curl all the way down. Moves pretty easily. Same thing with the thumb. Very articulated. Three hundred sixty degree turn. Okay, so on this arm, this shoulder piece moves in two places. So we have that, and we have that, and that. This one doesn't appear to do that. So we have this. We don't have the other articulations. So there's a difference in the two shoulder pieces here. This one has an arc reactor in it. This one does not. It looks like it should move. I mean, they had this foam shoved in here some way. I literally ripped the foam out in half. No, it doesn't. Uh, and I'm crying. There's nothing. I think that little piece of foam just fell out. 
Let me have this. Get this out of here. Um, so now we get this, and we get this. This piece does not appear to move at all. Although it looks like it should. I don't see any movement whatsoever for that. So then the arm extends here. And more foam in there. And here. So I guess that's the extent of it. And that would be the pistoning that we see of the punching. So you have the first one and the second one. Which gives that length of an arm. In case you're curious. even contracted. It's just a little bit longer. Pretty nice. nice indeed actually so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with the punch or if I'm gonna go with the grab that this has Let's check on some of the comments Let's see where you guys are calling me an idiot right <laughs> I don't believe any of y'all would do that might doubt it So the Thanos throne is one six scale from a ship. You should take a look at it. I think I will. Hello, how are you? Uh, love that bad boy. I have him also. Yeah, the Hulkbuster. Sheesh. I only sell on eBay when it's um, one pound max fees. So then it's four and a half percent includes PayPal. Nice. Uh, it's in the hole, I believe. Thank you. See, there it is. You should have said it's, whole, it's, a, it's in the hole, I believe, idiot. <laughs> no, I'm glad you didn't. Brother, you are so brave. I would love the Hulkbuster arm attachment for my Hulkbuster, but that would not have the bottle to do what you're doing. He is not a cheap item. No, he's not. Love videos, pal. You're down to earth and genuine. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so let's get to this. And, and that's kind of the effect I'm giving you with the live videos. There's people that say, why do you do this? Because, you know, you go through a bunch of nonsense that you can edit out and I don't want to see all of you screwing around trying to discover how it works. Dude, that's real life. Because if I'm not doing it, you're having to do it, right? Or when you do do this, do do, when you do do this, I'm sure you'd like to know what you're in for. So this would be the bus that you would use. So if you didn't buy the Deluxe, it just came with this Hulkbuster uh, Age of Ultron. Avengers Age of Ultron. So if you bought the Deluxe, you had the second bust. I think it came with the two head skulls no matter also. So let's take this fist off and see. Uh, wait a minute. Where are my fists? i have to find a fist. I don't know if this will go in there without a fist. And I don't know where my fists are. I'm sure they're in a drawer over here. Okay, it'll go in there. Let's put this back on. I thought the fists were on that, but the fists... Those are interchange not interchangeable. By the way, his little fingers are articulated. Like Gumby fingers, if you had a Gumby or a Pokey figure from way back in the day so 
So you put your fist on there and then he can grab it. You know, go with the scene where he's drug about um, smashing into the buildings. So there is that. some light on that so that's how that fits so I'm probably not going to use this arm but I want to see how it goes together nonetheless you can see how far we got that in there all the way up to his bicep that's as far down as it will go I don't believe it's the hand that's stopping it might be This might let it go in more. Let's find out. Let's take the hand off, see if the hand is what's stopping it. No, it's the bicep. So that's as far as it goes. In case you're curious. But yeah, I'm going to get the fist, do the fist. You can kind of make a fist with these fingers. They'll fold in and stay. But there's a fist. It came with a fist. I know there's a fist. There's a fist. Uh, where are we at? Interchangeable locking forearm. The indicated armor can be removed as shown. Unscrew. More unscrewing. Unscrew to remove the indicated accessory. Detach the jackhammer arm and reattach with the locking forearm. Complete as shown. It appears that this piece comes off. So it appears. Now, what am I? I'm pulling on this. This arm. It appears that. All right, so with the arm in this position, this piece comes off. All right, see, so we've got the elbow bent. All right. That's the inside of the elbow. Two screws. God, I hope they're not as long. Two screws. These are sharper screws. <clears throat> Screwed them in there tight. Oh yeah, a little bit of short screws. You can feel it already popped out of there. Hear it?
and then this whole gray thing pulls straight out right there it feels like it's made of metal and then this supposedly just comes out sure enough that was a lot easier than that whole process there sheesh The hook portion go towards the shoulder portion, by the way. Hook portion, shoulder portion. This little guy's flipped out. Not too difficult. Does not appear to be an up or down on this. Looks like it's pretty universal. So little screw holes lined up. Where are they at? Interesting. There's not really screw holes to line up. So it just holds it in as a press. Is that right? Can that be? Evidently because it's free rotating. So it doesn't screw into this per se. This is just locking it into place. Interesting. So you're just screwing it into the shoulder piece, not into that. So there's no screw holes to line up. But it does have to be in position, the proper position, in order for it to go down all the way. screw these in but I'm not going to keep the arm in to show you it assembled this is easy to put on there two of these uh, posts are closer together than the other two so just make sure you put it in that way and there is that so you still have the elbow movement no um, pistoning but you can latch it onto his arm and drag him through town if you so desire with this on the Hulkbuster but I'm not going to use this so let's take this apart again This was easy compared to getting this shoulder disconnected from the Hulk Buster. So if you've already gone to the effort, getting the arm off, swapping this out is easy peasy, depending on which arm you want to use for that. We're going to go with this. So it's funny, uh-oh, that's not funny, a little screw just came out, it's here in the shoulder piece somewhere, there it is, the, um, in order to put this one in, you have to have the elbow bent, in order to put the other one, you had to have the elbow straight, isn't that interesting? real tight 
I believe it has to be real super tight. Jackhammer arm. piece doesn't move anymore lots of batteries go in this um, I'm assuming that lights up I'm not putting the batteries in looks like the hand lights up I'm not putting the batteries in I'm sorry I'm not gonna do it just uh, they don't last for real I would love to find um, an AC unit that is affordable. Soap Reactor made an unbelievable AC unit ability for the uh, figures. The gosh darn thing was like a few hundred bucks. That's, I'm spending my few hundred dollars on figures. You know what I mean? I'm not spending a few hundred dollars on stuff like that. That's why I don't have all these nice cases and all that. You know, freaking hundred bucks or whatever for an Ikea case. That's a, that's a figure. Difficult to justify that. Take this accessory out. We don't need that, right? So you have three little screw hole screws here. And they're in specific places. They're not evenly placed there. And um, so there's holes here as such. So that's how he goes in. Don't know if I'm gonna screw it in, to tell you the truth. Because those tabs are holding it. All actuality. The arm isn't coming out. Remember, you have to use this accessory. So I don't know if I wanna put in this freaking two centimeter, one inch long screw back into it. Truthfully, it's not a screw, it's really a bolt. So the arm is totally articulated in regards to movement as such. Okay, I guess you're using the screw if you want to use, move this around. Just pop clean out. I don't want to use the screw. I don't want to do it. Okay, it's in there as such, but when you're moving it around, be careful because you've seen it, it, it popped clean out of there. So. I don't know if I want to use the screw. I don't want to screw that in, man. It's such a hassle. At least this way I can pop them in and out and put this other arm in easily without having to spend 20 minutes messing with this screw. 
I'm not going to put it in. I'm not going to do it. Just not going to do it. Reassemble your Hulkbuster. I guess I'm glad they did as much foresight as they did that this can be done to this. But what a pain in the ass. Completely for real. Total. Pain in the ass. All right, the Hulkbuster is now complete. The jackhammer arm. Fully extended. Look at how far down that goes. Was that really the length of it? Is it fully extended? Did it really go down that far? In comparison. By the way, this is the go to sleep accessory here. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Or when he sprayed them, right? Not when he punched them, but when he sprayed them. Of course, the big scene was
put that down there. I've wanted this from like day one to be able to pose this punch. Let's see if I can find the hiss, the fist. Buster fist. Oh yeah, now we're talking. So there's the scenes. Hulk versus Hulk versus Hulk Ragnarok versus Thor Ragnarok, and Hulk versus Hulkbuster. You keep it that. That's the scenes, man. Let's put the fist on the arm. Are into it a bit. Got to 
articulated feet. Putting a lot of weight on this one foot here. It's the bone foam out of my hoof buster. So we push this leg back a little bit, bend the toe up, put the little heel spurs down right there. Just extend this arm. Fit. Walk out of the way for a moment. Let's give the Hulk a little bit of a Pose here as well. Oh, this is looking nice. This is looking nice. There it is, man. That is it. This would be a good display. Right there. There you have it. There's your money shot, right? Back the camera up a bit. That's what makes it all worth it right there, right? You see him from head to toes? There's your shot. What do you think, guys? I think so. I think it works. All the weights on this left foot. Just a little bit, not make us so off balance. That works.
I believe that works. Now if I just had a place this big to store it like this, that's really what I want. I mean, look at the size comparison here. This is, you really don't understand how big the Hulk Buster really is without seeing next to Hulk. And you don't know how big Hulk is. seen him next to Black Widow so there's your size comparison so you can see how much of a beast this guy really is I mean look at this he's a good 16 inches I believe 16 and a half inches two feet 11 inches for Black Widow what's she say sun's getting low or something like that Trying to calm him down. Get him to de-hulk. Stop being so angry. So I've had you guys an hour and a half. I don't know if we want to... I don't think we're going to go any further into the... Uh, Showing off the show, I think this is enough. Um, we've got Vampire Row and Lady Death to do still. We've got the Star Wars figures to do still. And uh, I think that's everything. Then we have the Black Panther figures to do. And then some villains that we've got. And some regular figures that we have. Uh, Stan Lee, Loki, Mandarin. Obadiah, Pepper, Tony Starks. That's about it. So if not next week, the week after that, we'll have gone through it all. I've got no notification of anything else coming. Um, I think some of y'all have received your Captain Marvels. I think some of y'all have received your Nebulas. don't know. I have not had any notification of those coming. So, I don't know when those are coming. Coming sooner or later. So, thanks for sticking with us. I hope you like the new camera. Uh, let's go through some of the notes here. Find my mouse. Brazil, welcome. Welcome, Denise. Welcome from Brazil. That's awesome. Glad to have you. Sideshow just emailed me. They are shipping my PS4 Spider-Man Advanced suit. I love that. That's a really nice suit. Really nice. And a, and a unique design. The Advanced suit is a new design. It wasn't in any of the comics. It specifically was made by the company that made the, the PS4 uh, Spider-Man um, video game. It is their suit, and it looks great. I mean, it really fits into the Spider-Man motif beautifully. Lou Vega, what's up? How you doing? Ghost Tav, Sideshow just email. Okay, right, right. You're rich? Yeah, I wish. I am. I, 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 I guess I would have to say comparatively to some people with me being able to afford these figures, I would consider myself, I could be considered rich, but I'm not rich. I'm not, I, I, I don't make anything close to six figures a year. I don't make anything close to, you know, I'm barely over minimum wage. That's God's honest truth. I swear to God. Um, I just don't... Uh, I, I, I'm in a position where my bills are paid by the money that I make, and this is disposable income, $300 a month. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't have big dogs that take my food, uh, their, you know, money from it for their food. So this really is my bad habit. You know, somebody who smokes a pack of cigarettes a day, for instance, may have to spend, I don't know what cigarettes are now, five, ten dollars $10 a day in cigarettes, $70 a week, $250 a month in cigarettes. Or somebody who may spend a lot of money on alcohol might spend twenty, thirty, fifty dollars a week in alcohol. You know, two or three hundred dollars a month in alcohol. Or somebody has a big dog 
They have to spend fifty, a hundred dollars a week on food. You know, I don't have those hobbies. My hobby is is this. So, I'm 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 not necessarily rich. I'm just as well off as anybody else that can afford all of those things. You know what I mean? I'm not spending on alcohol, liquor, going out partying, uh, you know, stuff like that. So my money is spent on this. It's, I live the same as anybody else does, for real. So don't think that I'm well off. I'm not, but I could see how somebody could say that I'm rich. And I suppose somebody who doesn't have the luxury of being able to afford these, who doesn't smoke and doesn't drink, doesn't have dogs and is using every penny. Yeah, I could see how I'm rich, but no, I'm not rich. I'm not rich, I'm not well off, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Twist up torso of the Hulkbuster. Can, I believe, to some degree. So there's from there to there. There's your extent. And of course, because I didn't screw the arm in, it just came out. I don't want to screw this arm in, man. I swear to God, I don't want to screw this arm in. I did not want to do it. I don't. I do not want to screw this arm in. Calm down, boys. Calm down. No need for all of this. Robert Justifan, how you doing? Thank you. Happy Saturday to you. Sorry I caught up watching Swamp Thing. Oh, really? Bought the DVD. Great figures. Thank you. It's good. Also bought a Blu-ray Rambo. Going to watch it, right? Cool. Uh, Black Widow, sun going down. <laughs> that's what it's really doing that's how she's really affecting the Hulk right that's really what it is so um, thanks very much for tuning in thanks for sticking with me seeing how all of this works how much difficulty can be involved in it um, I hope maybe if you have made this purchase and you haven't decided to crack it open now you know what's required to do that um, I'm sorry I didn't put the batteries in. I'm just not going to do it. It's just a pain in the ass to put the batteries in. And then if you leave the batteries in, they blow up the figure. Or uh, they only last for a couple of hours. And yeah, you got to take them back out again. It's, just, it's really just not worth it to me to put the batteries in. Uh, figures look amazing when lit up. And if I could find a reasonable AC power provider for it, or if I would take the time to learn how to do that myself, it would be well worth lighting them up. But until then, I'm just not going to screw up the batteries anymore. I'm just not going to do it. Not going to happen. But I bet you he looks really great lit up. Uh, I think that goes without saying. So um, subscribe, like, share the videos. Believe it or not, that helps out a lot. Whenever there's any type of activity on a video, uh, it, it triggers a YouTube algorithm, which makes them want to promote the video and I guarantee you my videos aren't getting promoted that much there's just not a lot of interest it seems in what I'm doing I don't know why um, and uh, subscribe to patreon if you want to help me out I, I have nothing to give you I'm not handing you over a $300 figure I hate to tell you that I love you guys and I appreciate you who have done that thank you so much I love my Jean-Luc Picard gosh that is a um, that's a giveaway beyond belief I really appreciate that but um, I don't have anything to give you guys. So if you want to help out, a dollar a month through Patreon is would be amazing. Uh, they take on top of that, they take 23%. So they take 23 cents of that. So I would only essentially get 77 cents. Thank you, Patreon supporters. Those of you that have decided to do that, appreciate you very much. Um, the people who have helped me have asked to be anonymous. So I, I don't mention you know, uh, your name. 
if you want me to mention your name, I would have no problem doing that. I swear I have no problem telling everybody how generous you have been to help me out. Um, I, um, I had to buy a new cam a phone today. Uh, I bought it. It came to me on Monday. My phone, first thing that happened with my phone was it wouldn't turn on. Literally, it just would keep going on and off, on and off, on and off. And the battery was not even close to being dead. It would just cycle like this. And then if I let it sit down, like uh, one day I did it all night from like 10 o'clock at night until 2 o'clock the next day. So for 16 hours, just on and off, on and off, on and off. And then eventually it came on. And then the Bluetooth wouldn't connect. So I couldn't connect to the car. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't use the hands-free option. It just didn't work. It only speaking through speakerphone. So I finally bit the bullet, bought a new phone. So I have a new phone. And I think the camera looks great. I believe it's looking really good got it backed up really far to be able to see this but it appears that I can come in a lot closer and looks like the quality is really superb on that so again more expenses you know more expenses so thank you very much guys uh, I think I'm gonna end this video and uh, if if I get a figure coming in in the next week of course we'll be unboxing that next Friday Saturday if I don't we're gonna continue on with the live unboxing and I don't know that you guys got anything else. Thank you very much, Collection Obsession. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, and I don't know uh, if it, if the camera, I I thought the other camera was recording in, in um, really high quality. I guess it was only recording in 720, so I don't know what this one's recording in. I didn't read the instruction manual. Matter of fact, I think the instruction manual didn't much say anything at all, to tell you the truth. So I don't know what it's recording in, but it looks pretty good on the cam on the video here. It's really good. So next time I won't have to be so stretched out to get a two foot figure in there from head to foot. So we'll have the camera closer so you'll be able to see things. I need to get some ring lights to, or umbrella lights, something to soften and disperse the light. I mean, I know how to do this. I know how to do photography and videography. I know how to do all of this. It's just that I don't have the expenses to spend. I'm just using a little desk lamp, a little office lamp. You see me as I was moving around, you see what I'm using. I don't have umbrellas. And ring lights and all this fancy stuff set up um, obviously again here's where the expense is going it's not going into this and when these YouTube creators content creators are out there with these really fabulous amazing videos and, and then they're asking for money and they're saying that their daily expense is ten thousand dollars to make a video and you guys grief me and I don't know what to tell you Thanks, man. I love you guys. I really do. You guys have been great. And thanks for sharing the hobby with me. And I enjoy sharing what I have um, with you guys and showing you it. Because I happen to have spent my extra income on this stuff. Not on cigarettes, not on alcohol, and not on big pets. All right here. These are my pets. So I'll see you all next week. Let's go turn this thing off.